So copy level 6 and turn it into level 7. This is the layout we're going to use. You don't have to use this uh, layout. You can make your own. For me, this works fine. Okay, so we're going to block the entrance here. So our character cannot get the um, the flag. Uh, so we can probably create some sort of switch around here. Let me create a sprite for that. I'm going to make it that simple, okay? Because I have to go watch the World Cup. I think Colombia is playing with uh, someone. I'm not sure who. Too bad Germany, get out. That's it. I thought they were going to play with Spain again, but they didn't. Okay, so that's like the most horrifying looking key I have ever seen in my life. But we're going to pretend it looks very good. And we're not going to overthink it. Save it. Whoa, look all the keys here. Son of a gun. What's going on here? That's clearly a bug. Alright, so we're going to put the key over here. Let me just copy um, this here. You can barely see the key. Let me just uh, put the same properties. Let me change the background color to something darker. There you go. Oh, whoa, 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 that's too dark. Uh, I think the gray. I like the gray. The gray was fine. Maybe green. Maybe green, 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 green. Green works, kind of works. Oh, you can't see the green with the freaking yellow. Try something in the red wrench. Um, like, like, like this, I guess. All right, there we go. I think that works. It doesn't, but who cares? Okay, so now I need another object uh, to uh, block the entrance. All right, so let me create another object. This will be simple. I'm not going to overthink this. It's going to be simply a block uh, 32 by 32. 32 by 32. Resource. There we go. Oh, wait, I forgot the graphic. I forgot the graphic. Uh, let me just fill this with anything. Maybe like, um, uh, maybe there you like orange or red. Okay, that's a terrible looking color. It looks like rust. Maybe red. There you go. It's still a bit orange, but uh, that's all right. Let's see. Maybe just make a um, sort of keyhole there. Doesn't look like a keyhole, but anyways, whatever. Let's pretend it's a keyhole. Okay, so um, just uh, call this door, rename it door, and let's rename this to key. Perfect. So we place the uh, door here, and maybe we can um, put another block there so our character cannot get in there. Let me let me see if you can get in there now. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Let me see. Why can't you go in there? So if I move this, we just uh, bring this up a little higher, like this. Just make sure our character can get in there. That's fine there. Place this down here. There we go, that works fine there, so... Let me see. Let me bring this down a little tiny bit. A little bit more there. Just enough so our character can get in there. So all we have to do now is make this a uh, an obstacle. So let's go to behaviors. Add a behavior. Okay, so this will be a platform object. Grab ledges, no. And what else? I think we're fine there. Just apply that. See if we can get through that now. And you can't. Alright. So when we touch the key, we can destroy this object or maybe just move it up or something. Doesn't really matter. As long as you can get through the uh, door there. So, let me see. Let me just make some stairs for the... Maybe, maybe make it a, a bit hard for... Make it a bit hard for the players to reach that somehow. Like that. And let's put a, an arrow spring here. And... What else can we put there? We can put a green one here. Alright, that, that, that will work. Put one here. And we can place go right and go left. Remember, these are invisible. So, uh, let me see what that looks like. That looks very good now. Alright, so. Get up there and. Uh, you would actually need to squish that guy there. He needs to be squished. Donk. Alright, and then you get the key. Only that you can't get the key right now. So let me just close this here. Go to events. And we are going to create a new collision. 
Oh, that I don't need that there. Let me make a new uh, comment. Call this key. Um, a new empty event. And we're going to create a simple collision. Object collision. Uh, first object is going to be... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, hitbox. And the second object will be the key. So, if that happens, we can um, perhaps uh, delete the key. Or just move it out of the, um, the way. You see, objects. Uh, we can destroy it. We can delete the object. Okay. We want to delete the key. Now, if we want to make it really simple, we can just simply delete the, uh, the door. But uh, I think we should just move it uh, from where it is. The position. Uh, the Y position of the door. We want to set it to equals uh, the current position of the object okay let me just uh, find position so that's gonna be sprite position we just need we don't need a um, point actually we just need the um, the white position uh, actually gonna be minus uh, 32 see if that works let's go get the key And that works fine, except for I actually moved it to uh, <laughs> all the ways up there. Uh, that's not what we want. Uh, one quick way to do this is um, actually just swap the uh, position for another object. Let me just make another sprite. Uh, edit with P scale. Make this uh, 32 by 32 as usual. Resize. I think I'm missing out the game. I'll get to. There we go. That's our. Uh, Position swapper. Okay, apply that there so we can uh, make this invisible at, um, at the start. Let's see, I think you can do that here. Some people sometimes call it, oh, let me check out my code. Uh, it's not code, it's events. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Just pointing that out. Okay. Uh, I guess you can't. Let me just uh, go to a uh, start of a uh, level here. We can make that invisible at start. Right. Uh, visibility. I guess change the opacity. New object. Set it equal to zero. I think you can just make it invisible. I think there's just hide object there. Okay, so let me see if you can't see it. You can't see it. So we can simply change the position of the object. Let me just delete this here. An event. Object, uh, position, change positions with another object. It will be the new object. Distance, uh, I guess, and hit OK. See if that works. Let me just maximize this so you can see what's going on here. Ah, oh, son of a gun, he got me. Okay, jump, jump. Ah, oh, I fell again. How dare you? How dare you? And it didn't work. Son of a gun. How is that even possible? All right. Uh, obviously, I did this wrong. So let me just do this again. Position. Okay. Uh, now, here it is. I, I, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Okay. Position. You don't need uh, any of these. Okay. Uh, distance zero, I guess. Well, zero is. Like, I guess it's zero by default. Let me just see if that works. See if it works. It should work. It should work. Uh, I'm sure all default values are zero. Jump. Squeeze Grino. And it didn't work. Okay, what happened that time? Alright, let me see. Delete this again. We're gonna do this for the third time, son of a... Put an object around a position. Put an object. Okay, it's the first one. Okay, I know what happened. I know what happened. I want to put it um, the door center to new object. That's what happened. Zero distance. There you go. That's my apologies. Sometimes I'm a dumbass. Not sometimes. All the time. See if this works. This should work fine now. It should work now. Come on, Grino, get out of the way. I know I put you there, but. Um, Right now, I need to get the key, and it works. It works. Look at that stuff. Ah, except for we can't uh, get in there. 
We are getting close though. We are getting closer. Alright. Uh, all we need to do now is just put this up like this a little bit. 